Is it me or does the iPhone 15 lineup this year sound a little too good to be true? Hey everyone, it's Andrew and welcome back to the channel. Without a doubt, it happens every single Apple event. Leading up to the event, there's rumors after rumors telling us tech enthusiasts and people that love Apple exactly what we'll be getting. And every time we end up slightly dissatisfied. Well, at least tech Twitter. And it's not because of Apple, it's because of our own expectations. It sounds like the iPhone 15 lineup is going to be the biggest iPhone update we've gotten since the iPhone 10. But there's just the slightest hesitation for me to temper my expectations and not to get too carried away with all of the rumors. Because at the end of the day, until Apple announces what is actually on the new iPhone, it's just a rumor. Probably the biggest rumor we've seen and up to this point it's almost been confirmed that we're getting USB-C on all versions of the iPhone this year. Dynamic Island is coming to all iPhones. So the iPhone 15, iPhone 15 Plus, iPhone 15 Pro, which already 14 has it, and the iPhone 15 Pro Max, which also already has it in the 14 Pro Max. The buttons are going to be solid state buttons with haptic feedback. The Pro displays will have a slightly curved glass display. I think it's gonna feel super good in hand. Where I'm starting to be like, okay, I think we're stretching a little bit is the starting storage for the Pro devices is going to be 256 gigabytes, which I'm doubting that. Apple doesn't really care about storage when it comes to us. I don't think they're gonna do that. We're also supposed to be getting thinner bezels to all models. The Pro iPhones are going to be getting a titanium frame, which I can't wait for that. And I hope it doesn't have any fingerprints or anything like that. Like I'm tired of the iPhone right now. It's a fingerprint magnet. All models are apparently getting larger batteries. And I'll put the 15 and 15 plus on here as well. For the Pro, it would mean at least 3,650 milliamp hours, which would be a 14.1% increase which I think I need a little bit more than that because the 14 Pro has been just not good for me in terms of battery. And for the 15 Pro Max, it's going to increase about 10.9% for that. The Pro could also be resized to a 6.2 inch display. I couldn't find anything about a 6.8 inch display for the Pro Max, but I imagine if there's that slightest update, then the Pro Max would be updated as well. It's being thrown around recently that we're going to be getting a dark bluish color, kind of looks like a grayish blue color, and also a red color. And for the 15 and 15 plus, there's also going to be a very vibrant dark pink and light blue color options. There's apparently going to be a new camera system. And with that, we're going to be getting a periscope lens for optical zoom or at least better optical zoom. So right now when you zoom in, it gets like 3X and it looks pretty nice. Now with the 15, it's going to look pretty nice at like 6X and up to even maybe 10X optical zoom, which would be incredible and a little bit more on the level of the S23 Ultra. Only downside is this is apparently only coming to the 15 Pro Max and not the 15 Pro, which I really hope is not true. Obviously this one's definitely gonna happen. It'll have the A17 chip and apparently the 15 and 15 plus are going to have the A16 chip. So it's gonna be like a chipset behind. We're also going to be getting Wi-Fi 6E and eight gigabytes of RAM, if you really even care about that stuff. And a really cool one, I think probably, I'm gonna assume is not gonna happen, is a new action button similar to what's on the Apple Watch Ultra. Oh, and the last thing is the price is going to increase. now. I haven't really seen if it's just the pro models or all models, but yeah, that's probably gonna happen. There may have been some rumors that I have missed, but I think I hit all the big ones and maybe some that you haven't heard about yet. And I really hope all of them are true, except the price. I do think though, regardless of if some of these features are announced or not, I think this is a really good upgrade year. So I still know a lot of people that have the 11, the 12, and the 13. A lot of people skipped out on the 14 because it was so similar to the 13 across the board. I do think this is a big upgrade year for a lot of people. I think USB-C will call a lot of people's attention. Apple will somehow make this like some breakthrough thing that's never happened before. 
they're really good at that. So I think that a lot of people will just transition to a new phone just because of Apple's marketing. Now we can expect the iPhone event to be in September. It's September every year. I would say it's going to be announced the 5th and we get it on the 15th, but that's just my guess. The 15 lineup is set to be the most hyped smartphone of the year, without a doubt. Like everybody's gonna be watching, even the fandroids out there, they're gonna be watching to hate on Apple, of course, but they'll be there. But let me know in the comments what you're most looking forward to. Are you gonna be upgrading? What color do you like? Does anybody even really care about the 15 or 15 plus? Let me know. Make sure to subscribe so you get notified and can see the impression video, unboxing, and all the videos that I'll do throughout the year with the iPhone 15 Pro or Pro Max or whatever I get. And as always, thanks for watching, God bless, and I'll see you on the next video. I think I'm looking most forward to the titanium frame.